The BMW, whether it's a BMW or WWW, it is not more valuable than your best friend or your spouse or your child or the Imam in the masjid. He could make a mistake. There could be blunders. He could have committed a sin. But remember, it is he or she who persists and does not return, does not regret, does not show remorse, where we may have to start perhaps distancing ourselves. We tried. And from this, what I mean is in a marriage and in a family scenario, your brother, your parents, your sister, your child, when they do something wrong, you don't just kick them out and throw them away. Never. That's not what Allah taught us. I was reading an article that every 20 marriages, 12 of them are breaking, eight of them are lasting. And that's a disaster. If that's the truth, Wallahi, we need to cry. We need to cry. And if you go to see the reasons for the divorce, you know, people say the marriage was a mistake. Sometimes the divorce was a bigger mistake. There is no angel on earth. You want to divorce someone because they've made one mistake, but you are making another 20 mistakes of a different nature. If that person is prepared to seek forgiveness, if they show remorse and regret, then don't just break it. Don't throw your BMW away solely because one of the panels was badly damaged. No, repair it. It will cost you a little bit. Try, work together. And I promise you, the marriages that have been built after a mistake or a sin or something went wrong are far stronger than those who have not tasted that or those that have not been through this. We all make mistakes. We definitely make mistakes. I make them, you make them. Sometimes it's not a mistake. It's a sin, outright sin. But that's the nature of Banu Adam. It's the nature of humankind. Yes, if it is something really evil, perhaps it might be more difficult for us to help. Sometimes a car is written off. In that case, you might want to dispose of it. Scrap metal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. Sometimes a sin is way, way too big where a person might seek divorce. You know what? I can't live with this anymore. But for us, sometimes a small matter, something minor, and when I say minor, I'm not belittling sins. But what I mean is that which can be repaired. And you're throwing the thing away. Let's not do that. My brothers and sisters, let's get used to something. Let's try to understand. If we would like the mercy of Allah, show mercy upon others. Irhamu man fil ardi, irhamkum man fil sama. Show mercy upon those on earth. And the one in the heavens will show mercy upon you. Another narration, the Prophet says, Allah will not have mercy upon those who don't have mercy on humankind. People make mistakes. We all make mistakes. Learn to help those who've made a mistake. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness and guidance. So my brothers and sisters, you look at the examples given throughout history within the Quran, every single place. Allah speaks about a sin committed by someone. If he speaks about the repentance, he always says that repentance was accepted by Allah. Every time. Not once did he say they sought forgiveness, but we threw them out. We rejected them. No, it is a quality that is divine. It's not easy to forgive, but find it in your heart to make amends. Yes, if something repeats itself and it repeats itself a third time, then maybe we have a bigger problem at hand. But give people a chance. Give people a chance. I recall a person working for someone for many years, many years, almost two decades. And one day, he decided to, when the family was on holiday, he decided to turn on this Mercedes and subhanallah, whether he wanted to pinch it or whatever, he, maybe he just wanted to have a bit of fun. And he damaged the vehicle. It went straight through the wall of the garage that it was parked in. He ran away, absconded, worried about what his boss is going to say. When the boss came back, looked for him, forgave him, told him, Joe, don't worry, the insurance will pay for that, but I keep you back at work. Wow. People told him, you are foolish. He says, you know what? 
He's been so honest. He's been such a hard-working guy. He's been working for me for so many years. He made one mistake. I think this is forgivable. Not many of us can do that. But subhanallah, if you can, then indeed you are a person who deserves the mercy of Allah. You had mercy on someone. So I call on all of us. In the same way you and I know what we've done wrong and we expect people to help us and we expect people to forgive us. Surely we should look at others with a similar eye. People say, but I wouldn't do this. Well, you might have done something in the eyes of Allah that is worse. And my brothers, it's important for me to make mention of two types of sins. One is a sin that you commit between you and Allah. For example, a person who drank alcohol, a person who's on drugs, a person perhaps oh, might have done something of that nature. That's between you and Allah. If you seek Allah's forgiveness and you repent and you are serious about it, Allah will forgive you without a doubt. But there is another sin that is between you and a fellow human. You stole someone's wealth, backbiting about someone. You know, you perhaps, well, the, the example that first comes to mind is when you have deceived someone, cheated them. In that case, it's a more dangerous crime. Because you need the forgiveness of that person as well. And it's not easy for anyone to put the tail between their legs and to go and say, you know what? I'm so sorry what I've done. Very bad. And a lot of us, we say, <laughs> a lot of us will go to the person and say, you know what? Please forgive me for anything I might have done or said. And in your mind, you know, you committed a huge crime. And the person says, yeah, yeah it's okay. It's done. You are lucky that it was a wholesale forgiveness. By right, you were supposed to go and say, you know what, forgive me. When someone comes to me and says, forgive me for everything I might have said or, or, or did, I say, well, what did you do or say? Please let me know. You know, because I promise you when you go around spreading deception or backbiting, then it's not good enough to just say, forgive me and carry on. And the person says, you're forgiven. That's not enough. Actually, if you are a true mu'min, you would tell yourself, I have done so much damage. I wound up the situation. I'm going to make an effort now that I'm forgiven to unwind everything. So now I will go around and the people I spoke to negative about this party, I'm going to tell them positive things to say, you know, I told you something bad. Unfortunately, I was wrong. Subhanallah. That's the way to seek true forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my brothers and sisters, inshallah, what we want to see, especially in marriage, because a lot of marriages are breaking, even when we give advice to the couples that are struggling, don't just say, leave him, just leave him. You'll get another guy. But sister, you who is speaking went through a divorce and it's been 20 years and you're still looking for that other guy, right? She's in it. Rather give her the good advice to say, you know what? Try to make it work. Let's see how best. Is he an evil guy? Is he engaging in physical abuse? If that's the case, there's a limit of tolerance. You need to know this. There is a limit of tolerance. I am not saying here from this pulpit today that just go out and forgive everyone and live in every situation you're in. No. Sometimes parents abuse their daughters. We've come across cases where some abuse their own children. There is a limit. There is a line. We will have to do something to save those kids because we don't want it to repeat itself even if it just happened once. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen us. I'm not saying in that case. That is an extreme case. It's like writing something off, like I said. I'm not saying that in that case, you should actually now force someone who is going to be living with this abuse, glaring them in their face to live in that situation. No, but I am saying wherever it is something that can be resolved, try your best to resolve it and try your best to forgive people. Give people correct advice as well. Many people, our friends, many times come to us and say, you know, I'm going through the situation. Fear Allah regarding the advice you give them. Make sure that it is something that Allah and His Rasul would be happy with. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on every one of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us. Like I said, inshallah, we forgive. We learn to forgive. We commit mistakes. We should seek forgiveness as well. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will indeed open our doors 